Hello. Welcome to Cliniversity. Welcome to the session of CRF Designing. In today's session, we will understand the importance of CRF development, then look into the process of developing a CRF, pointers that are critical to the CRF development, certain general considerations. Finally, we will look at some good and bad CRF designing examples. Why is CRF important? Data is captured as per the protocol, which are critical for analysis. Also, if the CRFs of a sister study or a similar protocol is used for reference, every caution must be taken to ensure the current protocol specific information is accurately updated. CRF that is well-structured eases the data entry and analysis. Also, this supports creating a well-designed database and the validation thereafter. A well-designed database would allow better data review processes, setup and implementation. To ensure faster and easy regulatory approvals, CRFs must be designed as per the acceptable industry standards such as CDASH, SDTM, ADAM, etc. Maintaining a standard CRF library would enable the organizations to design CRFs in less time and with improved efficiency. Post-design validations Implementation process is also quick and overall there is reduced financial burden in terms of resources, time to build, approval, subsequent site trainings, data cleaning efforts, etc. GCT defines CRF as a printed optical or electronic document which is designed to record all the protocol required information to be reported to the sponsor on each trial subject. Critical data per protocol is collected and CRF records this information. The collected CRF data enables statisticians to draw meaningful analysis, which confirms the validity and the outcome of the clinical trial. Through this analysis, there can be decisions made on the use of investigational product for the general population and further explorations, if any. Certain minimum standards to follow while CRF designing. CRFs to be designed as per the protocol, meaning the assessments, specific questionnaires, measurement criteria are to be looked at while creating the CRFs. Every draft of CRF should be reviewed and they should be version controlled. All specific review comments are also documented and CRF versions and comments are a part of the trial master file. While using licensed questionnaires, precautions should be taken to ensure that the authorization copyright requirements to use the questionnaires are seen. CRFs are available and EDC screens should be built and ready before the subject enrollment begins. For developing a CRF, initial requirements are the protocol, mock CRFs, sample study or sister study CRFs, standard CRF pages if available. Now these are the some of the few documents that will be required for the CRF design. The list is, however, not exhaustive and any other reference document that can support in building better screens should be reviewed while designing. Once these documents are, are in place, the study team, which includes data management team, statisticians, safety, clinical, coder, and as required for the specific study, 
should be involved in the creation and the review of the CRFs. For more details, connect us on given details on screen. And don't forget to follow us on our social media. Thank you.